In this video, we'll see how to work on editing a text in MS Word. We'll see how to work on the cut, copy, paste, undo, redo, and find and replace. So cut, copy, paste, let's see, it's very simple and I've written the shortcuts also here. So let us start with, first I need to have some text. So I can write a formula in Word to write, you know, to create some text here. So I'll write here as equal to R A N D one comma, let's say two comma two and I'll press enter. So I've got some text here. Now you might think like, how did I get the text equal to R A N D two comma two, two stands for number of paragraphs and next two stands for each paragraph contains the number of sentences. So I'll just select here two paragraphs, two sentences, press enter. These are two paragraphs. And if you see each paragraph contains two sentences. So let us start now. How do I cut a text? Suppose if I want to cut a text, what I can do is first I can select this line. Let's say I'll select this line from here like this. And if I want to cut it, I can go to this home tab and you see there's an option as cut. So if I cut here, the, the line will cut from this place. That's a cut now here. And if you want, you can just keep your cursor at any place and paste here like this. And you see that line came here. So cut paste is very simple. That means you can say as instead of cut, I mean the text will come uh, remove from there and it will come down. So that is cut paste. What if you want to create a duplicate or you want to create a copy of that text? How do you do that? So for that you do the same thing. You just copy the line. So I'll just first select the line like this. Selected the line and you can just click on this copy and I can just keep my cursor here somewhere and I can say as paste. Observe this line will not go away. If I click on paste this line, when you click one line, so if I click on paste, this line will be there itself. I mean this line here and the paste, it will be done. So that is nothing but cut, copy, paste. The shortcuts are given here as control X for cut, control C for copy and control V for paste. So this is how we can do it. If you do not have a mouse, how do you select the text? If you do not have a mouse, keep your cursor at any place like, or you can just use your arrow keys and press shift key from a keyboard and right arrow key, shift and right arrow key. So right arrow key, it will select one text or you can say one character at a time. But what if you want to select one word at a time? So right now, if you want to select one word at a time, press control shift, right arrow key, control shift, right, control shift, right, 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 and this way. So this way you can select one word at a time and then you can press control X, cut. And again, if you want to paste there itself, control V like this, and you can use it, the options, right? So selection is very simple and easy here, how we can see, do that. Next is, the, uh, the next thing is about the undo and redo. What does undo and redo do is, suppose for example, if I select this line, if I select this line like this by using a mouse, and if I color the background as yellow, right? The background I've colored as yellow. Now this action which I've done, I want to take it back or I, I want to reverse it. How do I do that? I can just click on this undo button on the top on the quick access toolbar. So I'll click on this undo. The thing, the action which was done, it has been reversed now, right? That is undo. Or else the shortcut is control Z from a keyboard. Control Z is the shortcut. Now, if you think I need to bring it back again, then you can use the shortcut key as, uh, I mean, you can use the option as redo. I'll just click on this redo and it will come back. Or the other shortcut for that redo is control Y. So undo is taking, reversing the action. Redo is bringing back the action. Okay, so I hope you are able to understand. Let's see the next one. How do we see the control? I mean, the find and replace. Find is nothing but finding a particular text in your uh, Word document and replace is replacing with some new word. Now, for example, I want to search a word that is online in my text. So there might be multiple times the online word is given. Okay, yeah, let's see. This is one online. That is one online. So what I'll do is I'll try to find it. I'll go to the home tab. This is my home tab and I can click on this find button. So once I click on this find button, I'll get this uh, floating navigation bar. From here I can search, I can type in search. Or the other method is in previous version of Word, you can just click on this drop down and you can click on this advanced find. So you'll get this dialog box in the previous version that is find, replace and go to at one place. Here it is easy to understand find what and I'll type here some text. Let's see, I'll type here online. I want to find find the text that is given as online and I'll click on find next. So once I click on find next, wherever my cursor was there, from there it will start finding. So it started finding here itself. 
So that is the text which is online. If I click on find next, see what happens. You see find next online word has been selected. If I click on find next again, this is selected. So once uh, it will keep on selecting all the text, again I'll click on find next. Finally it says the searching of that text has been done. So that is what we are finished searching for the document. I'll click on OK. Suppose you want to find some other word, you can just type and click on find next. That is one find. Or the shortcut method to bring this dialog box is Control F from a keyboard and the dialog box will come back. Similarly, if you want to replace that online word with offline word, you can use this replace word, I mean the replace command or you can use the shortcut that is Control H. How do I replace a word? You see there is an option as replace. So I'll just click on replace, same dialog box comes but the other tab, earlier it was find, now it is for replace. So I want to replace online word with offline word, so I'll click on this and type offline. Now observe what will happen, if I click on replace, observe what will happen, I'll click on replace, right. So it has selected now, I'll ask him to replace. So let me check whether you see this word which was online now it has been replaced with offline. Now this word is selected right this is online. If I click on replace observe what will happen. This word also is replaced already I will click on replace. So it says this word offline offline and the last one was offline. So all the text was converted for the newer text right. So it says now we are finished searching the document so I will click on ok right. So this way you can work on the find and replace that's a very simple and very required much task in the MS Word. So I hope you have able to understand how to edit a text in your data, cut, copy, paste, undo, redo, find and replace. And that's all for this video.